Daryl Zimmerman is a veteran busker on Vancouver's streets. He is used to scraping by, but during the 2010 Olympics, he has hit a gold mine. Yeah, the toonie was the greatest invention ever for buskers. It's a double of this loony, but it's not much different. People just reach in their pocket and grab it. Looking to manage and entertain the crowds and commuters, Vancouver Transit and city governors have granted an unprecedented number of street performing musical acts. Well, they do all kinds of a variety of things. Each busker is very different. It's that Transit doesn't always have to be a negative drudgery experience for commuters, so it keeps things lively, light, um, but the feedback has been very favorable. I've been out here a couple of hours altogether. I go for about 40 minutes and take a break. You have to buy a busking license to busk normally, but for the Olympics, it's free. <laughs> While Daryl's busking license allows him to perform outside of transit areas, other performers have been brought into the coveted indoor platforms to entertain passengers. No Thank you. Just heading home because I want to get before the rush hour and I happened upon this guy. This is my first busking job. I gave up two weeks of, uh, of work for this. And this is a lot harder. <laughs> After about an hour and a half, <laughs> the hands give up. Oh, it relaxes me, man. That's the first thing I ever heard, something like that. Or even seen something like that there. 